Today, we mourn the death, but celebrate the life of Tony Bennett. Hey Kermit, have you ever sung Firefly before? Well, I can't say that I have, Tony, but you know, I've certainly eaten a few. <laughs> They're a good light snack. Cuckoo, super king. Look, it's Tony Bennett. Hey, good to see you. Anthony Dominic Benedetto was born on August 3, 1926, at Street John's Hospital in Long Island City, Queens, in New York City. He was the son of grocer John Benedetto and seamstress Anna Sirachi, and was the first member of his family to be born in a hospital. My wife is on a diet, and since she's on a diet, home isn't home anymore. Listening to Al Jolson, Eddie Cantor, Judy Garland, and Bing Crosby as well as jazz artists such as Louis Armstrong, Jack Teagarden, and Joe Venuti. His uncle Dick was a tap dancer in vaudeville, giving him an early window into show business. An artist with a voice you know in two seconds is Tony Bennett. Well, I think Frank Sinatra once said about Tony, he is the greatest singer in the world. I left my heart San Francisco He not only survived the rise of rock music but endured so long and so well that he gained new fans and collaborators, some young enough to be his grandchildren. In 2014, at age 88, Bennett broke his own record as the oldest living performer with a number one album on the Billboard 200 chart for Cheek to Cheek. By his early 40s, he was seemingly out of fashion. But after turning 60 in age when even the most popular artists often settle for just pleasing their older fans, Bennett and his son and manager, Danny, found creative ways to market the singer to the MTV generation. He made guest appearances on Late Night with David Letterman and became a celebrity guest artist on The Simpsons. He wore a black t-shirt and sunglasses as a presenter with the Red Hot Chili Peppers at the 1993 MTV Music Video Awards, and his own video of Steppin' Out With My Baby from his Grammy-winning Fred Astaire tribute album ended up on MTV's hip buzz bin. He began singing for money at age 13, performing as a singing waiter in several Italian restaurants around his native Queens. Bennett attended New York's School of Industrial Art where he studied painting and music and would later appreciate their emphasis on proper technique but he dropped out at age 16 to help support his family. Because of you, there's a song in my... Tony's recording career began with 1952's Because of You. His total discography included 61 studio albums, 11 live albums, 33 compilation albums, 3 video albums, 1 extended play and 83 singles, with at least 21 top 20 hits. On February 12, 1952, Bennett married Ohio art student and jazz fan Patricia Beach, whom he had met the previous year after a nightclub performance in Cleveland. In 1969, Patricia sued him for divorce on grounds of adultery. In 1971, their divorce became official. Bennett had become involved with aspiring actress Sandra Grant while filming the Oscar in 1965. The couple lived together for several years and on December 29, 1971, they quietly married in New York. They had two daughters, Joanna and Antonia, and moved to Los Angeles. The two were married until 1983. In the late 1980s, Bennett entered into a long-term romantic relationship with Susan Crow, a former New York City school teacher. In February 2021, an article in AARP magazine revealed that Bennett had been diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease in 2016, though he continued to perform in record until the COVID-19 pandemic in early 2020. He briefly resumed performing in 2021 for his farewell performances. Bennett's twice-weekly singing practices are thought to have kept his brain stimulated and spared him from symptoms such as disorientation, depression, and a detachment from reality. In announcing Bennett's retirement in August 2021, Danny Bennett stated that the Alzheimer's was mainly affecting his father's short-term memory and that he would often forget he had just performed after a concert. His long-term memory, however, remained intact and he could still fully remember all the lyrics to his repertoire when performing. Bennett died at his home in New York City on July 21, 2023 at the age of 96, following a seven-year battle with Alzheimer's disease. His death was announced by his publicist. In a statement, his family stated that he kept singing to the end and that the last song he ever sang was Because of You. Upon his death, Bennett was hailed as the champion and legendary interpreter of the great American songbook. We're gonna watch Lady Gaga's set. 
Right. And then you're going to sing. I've got you. Yes, I do. Under my skin. That was our look at the life and career of Tony Bennett. What do you think? Were you a fan of the Timeless Singer? He was one of the few artists from his era to stay relevant up until the very end. He lived a good long life. Tony Bennett. You will be missed. Don't forget to share this video. Subscribe to my channel and check out my Carl Vincent Vampire Hunter franchise in the comments below.